if you get your hands on the brand new 2022 Outlander, the chances are it does have a power tailgate. Actually, the chances are pretty high because it's almost a standard um, equipment, a standard feature. In Canadian spec, anything except base ES will have the power tailgate. And there are four ways that you can open and four ways you can close the tailgate. And in this video, we'll have a look at all four ways to open and close it right now. Number one, the coolest, the easiest, and most convenient way how to open and close the tailgate is with what's called kick activated motion. Now, that feature is nothing new in automotive industry, but it's new for the Outlander, and I'm glad they added. So, you just need to have your key in proximity of the vehicle or in your pocket. Say you have grocery bags in your hands, you just approach the vehicle, do the kick motion underneath the bumper like that, it opens up quite fast, you put your bags in, do another kick motion like that, and the tailgate closes down. Super convenient, super nice to have. Like I mentioned, nothing new for the automotive industry, new to the Outlander. I'm glad they added, and you will enjoy this feature a lot in your daily errands. And here's the second way how to open and close your tailgate. So in the vehicle, on the panel, the bottom part right there is this uh, car trunk symbol. So you press that button, it opens up. You press it again, it closes. Now, the thing is, if you sit in your vehicle, uh, the steering wheel uh, and the turn signal is kind of blocking the, uh, the view of it right there. So many times, actually, some people completely miss it that it's there. So let's see what happens. So we press and hold. The tailgate opened up all the way up and again we're gonna press and hold and the tailgate closes down there we go so that's the second way how to open and close the tailgate and you can either open it and close it you don't have to open it and close it the same button any method of these four will work for opening or closing or both Let's look at the third way now. The third way is the old school way. There's a button right here. You click it, it opens up. And then you also click it right here. There's a button to close it. And that's it, the tailgate closes. So the third way is directly by pressing the button on the trunk and closing it with the button on the trunk as well. I just wanted to note one thing on the, uh, the tailgate close right here. There's actually two buttons right here. Uh, one is with this car symbol uh, with open trunk. So this is for the uh, closing of the, uh, the trunk only. The other one has this lock symbol. So what this lock symbol is going to do is going to close your vehicle, close your trunk and going to lock your vehicle as well. So if you want to close the trunk and lock the vehicle and walk away that's the button to press let's try it out so let's press this the tailgate closes down and the vehicle locks itself see the the mirror is folded so that means the vehicle is locked that's it the vehicle is locked so just wanted to point out those two buttons so you know which one is for closing the tailgate which one is for locking the entire vehicle and the fourth way how to open and close your tailgate is with the button with the remote right here. So here we have this hold symbol on the, uh, on the uh, remote. You just press and hold. That opens up your tailgate all the way up. And this same button closes it. There we go. The trunk is now closed. You're good to go. As a bonus, we'll have a look how to uh, do the height adjustable um, tailgate. So how to adjust the certain height that you wanna have for your uh, tailgate to open. So let's see how that's done. Now, if for some reason you do want to adjust the height of when the tailgate stops automatically when it opens up, uh, you can do so. So you don't have to open it all the way up. So let's say, 
you have a garage with a low ceiling or you just want it to open up at a certain position for some reason, it's quite easy to adjust it. So what you want to do is remember how there was those two buttons here. So one is for the locking the entire vehicle. The other one is for just closing the tailgate. You want to select manually um, your desirable height, press and hold this button with the car and the trunk symbol, wait till it beeps twice and that means it's going to be preset for that height and then when it opens up it'll stay at your preset height so let's try it out so let's say i want to have it real low like this so i'm going to press it and hold it it beeped twice now let's close the tailgate and now let's open it up and see where it stops so let's do the kick motion open and it stopped at my preset height. Pretty nice. So if you want to reset it to all the way up again, you open it up manually like this. You press and hold this button for two beeps. And that's it. So now it's gonna open all the way up. So let's try that out. So we close the tailgate down. Again, we do the kick motion or any other method of the four uh, that we reviewed today. And uh, Let's have a look. And there we go, it opened up all the way up. So like I said, pretty easy. You set the desired height, you press and hold the uh, lock and unlock or the, un uh, the lock button here, wait for two beeps. They'll set the uh, height and you're good to go. So there we go. We just had a look at four different ways how to lock and unlock or open and close your uh, tailgate and also we had a look at how to adjust the height of the tailgate.